Marcus, it's good to see you. How you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. Tro, we'd love to just get your thoughts on uh, what you've been doing to prepare for the draft and how Pro Day went for you today, and then we'll go around the room for questions. Um, I felt like, you know, coming back and, and, and doing Pro Day was, you know, it was pretty cool to get back to, to get back here and be around my, my brothers that, you know, I played with and the brothers that, that played here with me and had an opportunity to come back, you know, it was, you know, good feeling seeing those guys again and being on the field with them, running around and seeing them test and them do good and, you know, them make a name and, you know, that's all I can ask for, you know, I want everybody to succeed and win, so that's a plus. Uh, me personally, um, you know, leaving Syracuse the way I left, uh, you know, fighting through some injuries and uh, over the, over uh, the course of the season and then had to get a surgery and came out here and, and showed them that, you know, I'm healthy and I can, you know, still move around and, you know, be the player I am. So I think I had a good day overall. That's great. Thanks, Trill. We'll go around the room for questions and we'll start with Mateus Ornelas. Trill, Mateus from uh, Tampa, Brazil. Uh, congratulations for the pro day and going for the NFL draft. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of prospects, uh, scouts, sorry, uh, ask, say about your versatility in the secondary and mm -hmm. you can do uh, a bunch of stuff. But what do you think you're going to be more, more comfortable doing? Why, why do you think that Syracuse prepare you better for playing the next level? Um, you know, for, for myself, I, I never looked at myself as a, you know, as a, I'm a cornerback or I'm a safety or I'm a nickel. I, I look at myself as a weapon. So either way, either way, anywhere I go, I, I feel like they can be like, oh, we want you to play here for this series. And then next series, I want you to bump out the corner. And, Probably next series, I want you to go to safety. So that's that's always been you know me as a player. Uh, I always been versatile, uh, and you know my, I I have faith in my football skills to you know play any position, whether that brings me outside or, or in the slot, in the garden, big receiver, small receiver. So I feel like I, I I'm good all around. Thank you. Sure, thank you. Next we'll go to Mario Sacco from Channel Nine News in Syracuse. Well, good to see you again. As if dealing with a pandemic isn't hard enough, you're trying to uh, carve your name out and, and get your name out there for the NFL draft. What's this process been like since you left Syracuse and, and as you embark to try and get drafted here in the next couple of months? Um, this process, you know, has been has been crazy overall. You know, with uh, with COVID and not being able to, you know, talk to teams you know, face to face, and uh, the, even though the combine you know, being canceled and. You know, I just, uh, you know, I'm grateful for having a good opportunity to come here for Pro Day. Um, but, yeah, COVID is just, you know, crazy. You know, even even going back to when we had to play uh, during the season with, with COVID around, like, we had to do meetings a lot on Zoom. So Zoom is like the the new age thing right now. So I hear you. I got you up and a Colgate presser up beside me. So uh, <laughs> two for one. Best of luck, man. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Joel. Next, we'll go to Adam Hillman from the Daily Orange. Yeah, so kind of going back to when you decided to opt out, and, mm -hmm. you know, what, what led to that decision, and how do you think you know you you rehab from the injuries going into, I guess, about one, two months away, one or two months away from the draft? Um, well, you know, most people don't know, but I, you know, I played uh, throughout the season with a with a torn ligament in my ankle, and you know, I made it to game five, and you know, after that game five, I just you know, my body couldn't uh, take it anymore, and I, you know, talked it over with my, my parents and ended up getting surgery on it, and, and now I'm back and, you know, competing at, at Pro Day and putting my best work out there so, you know, teams don't have a doubt about my skills, so. Joel, thank you. We'll go to Dan Tortora. Phil, a two-parter, just what you can say about so your taking away from your time at Syracuse overall, mm -hmm. and if an NFL team was sitting in front of you right now, what separates you? What would you tell them as to why you belong on their squad? Um... You know, in my opinion, I think I'm, you know, I'm the best all-around football player, you know, in this draft because I play multiple positions. You know, I play safety, I play corner, I play nickel, uh, I can be in the box. So my vers my versatility right there alone, you know, separates me from you know a lot of other players. Troll, thanks. We'll go to John Johnson from Spectrum News. Hey, Troll, good to see you again. Uh, so I kind of want to ask, and it piggybacks a little bit on what Mario was asking you. Uh, you know, during this time, what have you been speaking, you know, or speaking with or saying to teams? Or what have been teams been saying to you throughout this process? Obviously, you just had the pro day today, but I'm sure there's been some conversations, you know, leading up to today about, you know, what they expect, what they're looking at uh, um, from you. Um, most of the stuff, you know, feedback I, I got is, um, like I said, I had, uh, you know, 
ankle injury, uh, which you know led to my season uh, ending here at Syracuse Short. Um, they want you know they just want to see me move around and and uh, you know have that you know have that spark you know in my step again. And you know I could, like I said, I came out here and and uh, hopefully they they saw the the same spark I had. Good luck, Trill. Thank, appreciate it. Thanks, Trill. Uh, we do have time for a few more questions, so please continue to raise your hands in the uh, chat. We'll go to Stephen Bailey from 247 Sports. Hey, Trail. Uh, I wanted to ask you, you know, when were you fully good to go after the surgery? So how long have you kind of been able to, to train for, for some of the drills you want to see today? And um, are there any numbers or measurements you're kind of willing to share um, today? That, the, the only, <clears throat> you know, the only uh, numbers that I, that I got that I know of my knowledge was uh, bench press. Um, you know, uh, I was trying to, you know, get over 15 and I ended up getting 20. So 20 was, uh, you know, my my bench press right there. And um, I said, um, I just wanted to come out here and, and compete. So that's what I came out here to do. Thanks, Trill. We'll go to Josh St. Croix from the Watertown Daily Times. Hey, Trill. Um, just looking ahead a little bit, just wondering if you have any plans for draft night at this point and, you know, it's kind of how much you're looking forward to that. Um, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, you know, I'm going to be around family, uh, a few closer friends uh, since I was a kid. So being around those people uh, will definitely make my, you know, my draft day uh, well-rounded and uh, pretty good. Thanks, Trill. We'll go to Nate Mink from Syracuse.com. Hey, Trill. Um, also kind of a two-parter. Um, wondering if you were always kind of set on being a three-and-out guy mm -hmm. even before your junior season started and, um, you know, kind of follow up with that, you know, I think – pretty rare really for any any place in the country to have three guys in the same secondary mm -hmm. you know be projected to be high draft picks what do you think we all missed out on seeing this year just given your and, and Andre's in your situation um man you know if we all was healthy and and was able to finish out the season you guys would have seen you know, one of the best DB cores that you know Syracuse probably ever had and you know uh not I do it. I do anything to, to do it again and be able to play with those guys again. And hopefully that's not the last time. You know, I get a chance to to line up with them. You know, to my left and to my right. Um, you know, they're you know they're, they're talented as well, and you know they're they have the same goal that, that I have, and it's to to get to the next level. And you know, we had that mentality even when uh, we came up here for junior day. You know, Dre, me and Dre came here on the same day. Um, if he was here already at that time, and you know, me and Dre, we talked about it and. You know that was our goal since then, and you know when we got here and uh, became close with Ify, and you know that was his goal as well. And you know we just you know stuck together as a pack, and you know we we did everything together. And hopefully you know I get to see them you know do good at the next level. Thanks, Trill. We'll go to John Eads from Orange Fizz. Hey, Trill. So you were you know coming out of high school, highly touted recruit. You could have gone anywhere. So what is your message to recruits? After you've done your three years here, you can go on to the draft. What does it say about Syracuse? What would your message to the recruits be who are thinking about coming to the school? Um, you know, my message is to them is uh, go where you know you feel comfortable and somewhere uh, you feel like you have the opportunity to, to get on the field and play. Um, like I said, it's, it's mostly being comfortable where you're at and coming here. You know, I felt comfortable with uh, you know Coach Monroe, Coach uh, Dino Babers, and you know they made me feel like family since uh, I was a senior in, in uh, high school. So. I just felt comfortable, and you know, this is the place you know, I wanted to be. Thanks, Trill. We'll go to Dan Tortora. Trill, you had a, a lot of stunning plays while you were at Syracuse, the one where you ripped the ball out of the hands and, and returned it back inside of the dome as well as the pitch back. Do you have a favorite play? Is it one of those, and just what you can say about those? Um, actually, none of those are my favorite plays, so I think my favorite play will have to be, uh, you know, my freshman year we played against Wagner, and um, you know, Sean Riley blocked the, the punt and it popped up in the air and I was able to get under it and catch it and score for the touchdown and that was my first college touchdown and, you know, my parents was there and, you know, that was, that's something that uh, I'll never forget, you know, that, and that's my favorite player right there. Well, thank you uh, to the members of the meeting. We have a couple more minutes. Are there any other questions? Please raise your hand in the Zoom. We'll go to Mateus Ornelas. Uh, true. Uh, we when we watch like your tape and other 
other uh, other analysis. The, some people talk to as a special team guy mm -hmm. that can return the ball and can make and can make some some noise mm -hmm. in that in that spot. You you see yourself like making that role in the NFL? Um, you know, you know, when I get to the NFL, you know, I would love to, uh, you know, return uh, punts and. You know, I really didn't get that that big of an opportunity here at Syracuse to to, to showcase that, and you know, it was due to depth that uh, you know that we had on defense, and I couldn't really uh, go out there and start on uh, punt return. But if you go back and look, I, I was the backup, so you know, I was able to play play the role that the team needed me to, and and you know, play defense and, and be healthy and uh, let Nakeem, uh, which is no longer uh, here, and you know, he did a good job at it, and yeah, so I, hopefully at the next level I get a chance to. To show that you know when I touch the ball, you know good things happen. So hopefully they they watch this and and remember that. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Trill. We have two more questions. We'll go to Stephen Bailey from Two Four Seven Sports. Hey, Trill, you, you talked a lot about your versatility. I was kind of curious what you're hearing from teams and scouts. Like, is it an even balance of the defensive back positions? Do you hear one more than any of the others? Um, no, it's really evenly. You know, I hear uh, you know press corner. Um, nickel free safety you know i hear a lot of different things and you know that just goes so shows that uh yeah i'm versatile and you know they see me you know f fulfilling out these different roles on, on their team and you know I, i'm just blessed to be able to play those positions and and uh you know get on the field so i play anywhere I, i'm able to get on the field and, and play right away so well thanks for our final question we'll go to adam hillman from the daily orange so kind of a similar question I asked to Andre. Um, you know, what led to the confidence of opting out and declaring for the draft you know, amid an injury? You know, what, what type of feedback were you getting that you were confident that if you opted out, you, were, you, you knew that you were going to get drafted or you knew you were going to play in the NFL? Um, you know, I, I got good feedback from the, you know, the people I talked to. And, you know, I'm always confident in my game. I'm confident in my film. And, you know, my film speaks for itself. Uh, like, like I told a lot of people, if you go back and uh, go over my, my stats here, I gave up three touchdowns being here, you know, three. Uh, if you could find four, then find four. But uh, since I've been here, I gave up three touchdowns, and that's one touchdown a year. So that speaks a lot. And um, a lot of guys, you know, a lot of teams didn't, didn't target me. And, you know, I felt that was, a, you know, an accomplishment that, you know, they, they feared me. Uh, and I just I just love football. So, you know, being able to to have that, that, um, that mindset to to leave and, and get healthy and get to the next level, you know that's just what I wanted to do and you know get healthy. Thanks, Trill. Well, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate your time today and wish you all the best as you continue your pursuit for the NFL. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.